Okay, I, hi guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so you know all you, where you are. We'll talk real quick. This is a speech provider speech, sorry about that. Uh, we are solo, we are an application networking company, We're very aligned to the networking and the Cilium vision that Thomas has. So it's actually working very nicely. We are, uh, what we believe is that the future of the networking is the piece of an open source project that we each choosing to make a big haul. We're working with a lot of customers for the, during the last years, and we kind of like notice a pattern. And that pattern, we're calling it cake. And what did we see is that the vision is that those projects that we all know, right? Cilium for CNI, MBN slash STL for Service Mesh, Kubernetes, for the orchestration platform, Envoy Proxy for the layer seven, and Spiffy for identity is basically the layers and the piece that we need to do to the future of the networking. Now, it's very simple which each of those layers are actually come together and responsible to. We start, we start with Kubernetes, which is basically the orchestration. Then Cilium is doing layer three, layer four connectivity. What's going on? <laughs> Then uh, workload identity with Spiffy and Spire, you know, East-West uh, connectivity policy with MBN and SDL. And last but not least, basically the ingress and egress API gateway with Envoy. So now, is that true, right? Why, how did we came with that conclusion? So honestly, you know, usually we, this commu our community is basically following a lot of the hyperscaler. So let's see what they think about that. And what we see is that Google is actually aligned to that vision 100%. They are using Cilium 100%. This is what you basically know, data plane V2, um, using it for the CNI. They are using STO intensively. As you know, they are the founder of it, as well as going to adopt really soon MBN. That's what we're working with. Um, Kubernetes, you know, guys, that that's what they're using, and by proxy with Traffic Director, as well as Spiffy and Spire. If you're looking at, if you're looking at Microsoft, pretty much aligned. The only thing is that they do not have Gateway that is uh, Envoy based yet. We will see if they will come, but they are very aggressive going on to the service mesh. I think that was their announcement. I expected an announce, another announcement this uh, conference. Okay, so what about Microsoft? Microsoft is always this strange cloud. <laughs> Stick, it's Amazon. That's what I said. Microsoft. Oh, I meant Amazon. It's a very, very uh, different cloud. They usually follow up, right? They really need to get a conviction for the, comp for the community that that's the direction. This is why eventually they launch e EKS. But if you're looking at the rest, they're basically, um, if you're looking at the rest, you know, they don't really have the right solution or they're not following the community. They all will have to say that the partner really aggressive on us with Microsoft, with the, on the MBN and SDO. So, you know, that's the way they're basically leveraging by partner. And then Red Hat, again, same thing. I mean, in the nutshell, they supporting the same stack. And honestly, way more customers. So now let's talk real quick on SDO. I'm really just in the line in case you don't know what it is. It was launched with Google, IBM, and Lyft in 2017. It's a really, really diverse community, and I think this is the key. A lot of companies contributing to it. It's a very diverse community. Um, but forget about that community. I can tell you as a customer, we have all, over 200 customers that we are use, that using STO in production, and we're helping them work from everywhere. So most likely you are using it as well. Um, as you know, it's part of the CNCF now, so it's announced and it's graduated recently. So it's a well, you know, robust project. And we even have a new splashy, Lizzie. I don't know if you saw it, Easy the dolphin. I don't know if you see, it's pretty cool. So that, that's awesome. The other thing is that, as I said, we're talking about MBN, you heard it, serverless maybe, uh, service, service side less, uh, service mesh. But what you don't know is that we're working very aggressive for it. I will argue for over three years. And finally, we can announce it as a beta this conference. So I'm really, really excited about that. You should try that. I know the perception of SDO was before. You should try that. Uh, because it will simplify your user experience. It will take drastically your cost and it's improved the performance. 
and you can read some of those resources. Um, I will recommend you to go and listen to that talk. This is Christian Foster, my colleague, and uh, this is a talk about a uh, service mesh, and it's comparing very nicely Cilium service mesh and STO in a very objective way. Okay, so Cilium and NMBN. So I don't know if many know, of you knows, but two years ago, we actually announced that announcement here, like in KubeCon. We basically announced that we're really excited about Cilium. We predicted that that would be the future. Great job, Isovalent and Cilium team. And we wanted to join that. So we announced it two years ago, and we did quite a lot in the community in order to try to be a partner. Uh, for some reason, we shadow, but we are working and aggressively contributing and working as part of the community. Um, as we said on the first talk, it's very important to us to, be the to bring the layers together. This is why we're contributing right now. We contributed and verified that MBN is going to work seamlessly with CNI, specifically Cilium, as because we're selling it. So it's really, really uh, nicely working together. Um, we're also announcing uh, our support for Cilium, a GLU networking for Cilium. So look, we're working with a lot of open source you know, uh, customers. We saw where they're shooting themselves off the foot. We created an insight engine that helping them not to do that. So this is just an example of how it looks, um, what is giving over the open source, but that's the provider guys, and so on. So if you are interesting, we would love to work with you as we're working with a lot of other customers. But all of this needs to be wrapped somehow. So networking will happen, right? I'm pretty sure. And the vision is to make it easy to use and as MBN as it can be, right? But in the natural, eventually you're using all of this in order to implement that on your organization. And the question, how should we best do that? And as you know, we are big fans of open source. And therefore, we are very, very excited about Backstage and really, really excited about that project too. Is actually right now, at least we see it in our customer. I can tell you all of our customers we're not accepting. Looking at that exactly project, how can we take projects like Cilium together with MBN and make it so easy and so uh, adoptable in your organization? I think this is the answer. I think that I'm very excited about what we can do there. Uh, we have our own distro for Solo, uh, working with all those customers. So if you're interested, please reach out. And I think that's all I have. Thank you for my time.